Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. Today we are going to learn about sliding and folding door. In an earlier video we had seen the details of the folding door. In this video we are going to see the drawing and details of the sliding and folding door. So here we are seeing the drawing of the sliding and folding door. What we are seeing here is a plan, an elevation and a section. Now let us try to see the drawing more in detail. First let us zoom in to the plan and see what is the sliding folding door. So as you will see here, the total width of this door is 3.6 meters and it is actually having a frame on two sides which is fixed into the wall. The total door of 3.6 meter has been divided into six equal shutters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 shutters and in the folded position you can see how the shutters are going to fold as has been shown in these dashed lines. So let us zoom into this plan and just see the details. So what we are seeing here is that on two sides of the door we have the vertical timber posts which are of a size of 65 by 120. We call this as a post. Similarly on the other side what we can see here is another post here. The shutters of this sliding folding door are hinged to this post on either side. As you can see there are two dotted lines here on two sides of the door shutter. These are indicating the track of the door which is above the door that is just below the lintel. So these two dotted lines are indicating the location of the track above the door. The same track we can see it in the elevation if we see it here. So the two lines, the dotted lines are indicating this particular track which is seen here. So the entire door now in this case that is the all the shutters are all going to be suspended from the track which is located above the door. Inside the track you will see that there are wheels. So as you can see here these are the wheels and if you see the wheels in three dimension you will see that in this case there are four wheels mounted on a gear and this has been located in positions as shown here. So this is what we call as an end supported sliding folding door. As you can see there is no head provided for the frame here but instead of the head we are having the track. Now, what is the advantage of providing the track in case of the sliding folding door? So the main advantage of providing the track is that the entire weight of all these six shutters is being carried by the track and hence the hinges are freed of the weight of the shutters. And then there is no tendency for the door to droop down. If all the load of the three shutters would have gone to the hinges here and the other three shutters would have gone to the hinges on the other side, the tendency would have been that due to the weight of these shutters, the entire door would have slightly drooped down and maybe it would have touched the floor and thereby it would have been difficult to open or close the door. So in such a case where we are having a very large opening, instead of going in for a folding door, 
it is preferable to go for a sliding and folding door where the entire weight of the door is being carried by the channel which is there on the top or we also call it as a track we'll also observe that in elevation if you see this we see another dotted line this dark dotted line which you can see here which is indicating that there is also a track at the bottom of the door now why is this track required at the bottom of the door it is important to note that since the door shutters are suspended from the track above there is no possibility of the door moving along the longitudinal length that is coming out of the longitudinal length but there is no lateral stability to the door as it is suspended from the top you can think it of a as a curtain suspended from a curtain rod and the curtains uh, be waving at the bottom due to the presence of some wind coming from the window so this type of a lateral movement can occur in the shutters to prevent or restrict this lateral movement it is important to have a track at the bottom so what you are seeing here is in the dotted lines a track here the same can be seen here in the section which is showing you this type of a track which is going to be there inside the flooring and the lower part of the door shutter is provided with a roller and this roller is of a shape which has been shown like this so it is allowed to move only horizontally like this so that it keeps the door within the track and does not allow the horizontal motion of the door that is the lateral motion of the door so that is the function of the bottom roller and the bottom track just note that the track does not touch the bottom and no load is transferred from this roller to the track the entire load of this door is being carried by the upper track which is seen here so this track carries all the load and is taken to the lintel above and the two wheels or rather the four wheels which we see here about the rollers they are carrying the load and they are moving within the track so this is the type of track which is there above on top as you can see it is fixed to the lintel and these four wheels along with the necessary other gear is moving through this particular track so this is the mechanism of the sliding and folding door the rest other details remain the same as we have learnt in the earlier case of the folding door that is the door shutter itself consists of two styles and the two styles are of a width of 100 by 40 thick wood styles and we may have a glass and a panel depending upon the type of door that we want in this case we can see that there is a glass panel which is fixed with the help of beading and that can be seen also in elevation so in the upper part you can see that there is the glass panels and in the lower part as you can see there are the plywood panels at the bottom the same can be seen in the section the top portion is consisting of a glass 6 mm thick clear float glass which is fixed to the uh, door shutter by means of beading 12 by 12 beading and the lower part of the shutter consists of an 18 mm plywood panel which is actually inserted into the members of the door shutter now what are these members of the door shutter we have already seen them in the earlier folding door the top is called as a top rail normally 40 by 150 the central member is called as the lock rail which is 40 by 200 and the lower portion is the bottom rail which is 40 by 150 
so this is how the sliding folding door differs slightly from the folding door now one point to note here is that this type of a sliding folding door is called as a end supported sliding folding door what it means is that the rollers as you can see here is positioned at the end of this particular shutter and therefore this is called as the end supported sliding folding door as you can see here again the supported at the end of this shutter and this is called end supported there is also another type of door which is called as the center supported door so this is the sketch which is showing you the schematic sketch which shows you what is the difference between end supported sliding folding door and center supported sliding folding door for example this particular drawing is showing you that this is the end supported sliding folding door you can see the rollers are positioned at the end of the door shutter and therefore on one side it is hinged and then it is suspended by the two rollers at the ends while well, in this particular case you can see that the rollers are situated in the center of this door panel as you can see here here and here so in this particular case you will see that uh, this is called as a center supported sliding folding door another thing which you will observe is whenever you have a center supported sliding folding door the last shutter or the shutter which is connected to the hinge is not a full shutter but it is a half shutter so what you will see is that the shutter connected to the hinge is a half shutter while as the other shutters in that sliding folding door are full width shutters so this is the difference between the end supported sliding folding door and center supported sliding folding door in a further video we will learn more about the center supported sliding folding door in this particular video we are learning about the end supported sliding folding door now this can take on various types of configurations depending upon how many number of shutters are being provided and therefore here you are seeing some of the configurations as you can see here there are four shutters and they are supported by at the end by the rollers so there are even number of shutters and the the door is hinged only on one side in the second sketch there are total four shutters but they are divided into two parts two shutters on this side and two sh shutters on this side so these are even number shutters but on two sides are supported on two uh, sides of the door next is odd number of shutters as you can see here there are three shutters here and three shutters here odd number and there is only one roller so this is what we are actually seeing here in our case there are three shutters and three shutters and the roller is situated somewhere here so this is the same configuration which we are seeing here is odd number of shutters on two sides and in the last case we are seeing even number of shutters again they are going to be six in numbers and they are going to be located on one side so this is how the different configurations can be done one thing which you will observe in this type of a configuration is that when we close these sh shutters the two central shutters can be opened without sliding the door so this is the advantage of having odd number of shutters that you can have some shutters which are free to move and they are not connected to the rollers i hope this is clear to you what is meant by a sliding and folding door and what is the difference between sliding and folding door if you have any queries please contact us at architectsacademy@gmail.com thank you